Hey guys, Joel here with High Gear Media and we are still at the 2011 New York International Auto Show. Right here we have the new 2013 Chevrolet Malibu Eco model. They are bringing the Eco model to the new Malibu as well as the new Cruze. This is going to get 26 miles per gallon in the city and 38 miles per gallon on the highway, which is not class leading because the Fusion beats it and the other, some other hybrids, but it's really great and it does have some cool tech in it. Starting up front, we do have the new active grill shutters. Those are also in the new Focus, the new Cruise, and a bunch of other vehicles. They close and open to allow air to go into the engine bay when it's needed and when it's not needed for better aerodynamics. Under the hood here, we feature a 2.4 liter direct injection Ecotech four cylinder. It is going to be coupled to an electric motor that is coupled to a lithium ion battery pack, trunk mounted, which we'll take a look at in a second. Front wheel drive, six speed automatic. If we move back, and take a look at the car. The swept back headlights, you can see the front is more of an evolution than revolution for the new Malibu. Swept back headlights, projector headlights, and then we also have some nice sculpting and a newer grill with the new bow tie. As we go around, you notice the Eco model does feature flangeless wheels. They do not have a flange out here for weights. They do have low rolling resistance Goodyear tires on this vehicle. As we continue around the car, the rear haunch is flowing to the trunk with the four tail light design. And then here in the trunk of the Eco model, we do have the lithium ion battery pack. It does take up a little trunk room back there mounted there, but it is concealed and nice and you can't see it. It does slightly impede on the trunk room. Not a big deal for the mileage gains. The tailpipes are hidden in the fascia for better aerodynamics. As we swing around here, we notice a BMW bangle-like design on this rear integrated spoiler. Again, better aerodynamics for the air to flow off the rear of the car. I personally was a fan of the Malibu's previous generation, current generation, greenhouse, but as you notice, this does have a new rear seat pillar with a completely new greenhouse design, and the belt line goes up, as does the window line, kicking into the rear haunches in the design. As we take a look at the interior, you notice this is not a loaded up LTZ, it is an eco model. It does have the touchscreen navigation and it does have the fake wood inside. And then also we have a new center stack. The touchscreen actually moves up to show a hidden compartment. Back here is your USB port and you can put an iPhone. And then we also have a new Camaro inspired gauge cluster. The Eco model, of course, does have the Eco meter showing the fuel efficiency. You want to be in the middle. And then we have a slightly revised new center steering wheel. The flowing design of the dash, the vents are kind of hidden in the plastic, so it's all one flowing design. And at night, there's LED light pipes that go around here to create an ambient glow. The last thing we're going to talk about is the new hood line. As you can tell, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is an evolution, not a revolution, but they did create some stronger character lines that flow for better aerodynamics, which leads to better fuel efficiency, of course, but also just for a more aggressive stance. You can tell it looks more flowing and there's more sculpting. It, a rich, it leads to a richer, better looking car. The Eco model, along with all the new Malibus, will be available next year in the first quarter as a 2013 model in dealerships in around January.